Then the father said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. But we had to celebrate and rejoice, because this brother of yours was dead and has come to life. He was lost and has been found. It's a story of forgiveness. And it has three main characters. The first character is the younger son. And this younger son is, um, he decides he wants to leave his family and he's, he doesn't like it there. So he asks his father for his, his part of the inheritance. An inheritance comes when someone dies. So the son is asking the father for his money. Basically is saying, I want you dead. I re don't really care if you're alive or not. But the father willingly gives it to him. So he takes his money and he leaves the country. Now, Jesus is talking to the Pharisees who have been grumbling about that he's eating with tax collectors and he's eating with you know, the sinners. And the Pharisees know that if you leave the country, you are now living with Gentiles, the unclean. So this young man leaves the country and he fritters his money away. He wastes it. The young man is working and realizes that it was better at home. It is better with his father. So he comes to realize that he has to ask forgiveness, that he is going to ask forgiveness and return to his father. It says that even while he was a long way away, the father sees him and runs to him with open arms. You get the impression that the father's been waiting for him. The young man has sinned terribly against his father, and yet the father welcomes him. Wow, what a joyful, wonderful reunion. Now comes the third character, the older son, who's been working in the fields and doesn't know about the party. And he gets very self-righteous and says, you know, I've been working for you and slaving for you and did everything you want, and nobody gave me a party. The father tells him, you are my son. You are always with me. But your brother is back from the dead. It's time to celebrate. So the message for us is reconciliation that when we sin, we turn away. But when we come back, God is always there with open arms. We also have to joyfully bring back those people who come back to us. And we don't point fingers and we don't recriminate. We have to also welcome them back with, to God's love and welcome them back into the family of God.